diving right into this week's reading and video. Um, I really enjoyed what Dr. Paul had to say um, about critical thinking and continuing to understand the process. Um, obviously, the focus on this week was um, questions. Um, are we asking the right questions? Are we considering every angle? Um, but one thing that he said at the very end, kind of my aha was that just point of view. How are we approaching this? How are we coming at this conclusion? Um, are we considering other angles? Um, and so for me, <clears throat> going into, you know, revising my papers and, and looking back whether my professors gave me comments or not, I've got to go back and ask those critical questions. How did I approach um, my papers and the stance that I took um, in my work? Um, the other thing that I liked about the book this week was the, the three questions um, that it asked, uh, the three categories of questions. So questions of fact, questions of preference, and questions of judgment. And I really liked how it broke each one of them down so that way we can get a clear example of, of what uh, approach to take. Um, I really enjoyed the comment, we do not fully understand the task we are faced with until we know which of these three is called for in our thinking. And that's true. Um, you know, when we're reviewing each other's papers this week, you know, I didn't stop to think about, you know, am I am I looking at this subjectively? Am I looking at this in judgment? How am I looking at the works that that I read? And so that's what I have to do now is is go back and I gave a comment to Margaret, but was I right? You know, how how was I approaching that? And so that's what the the reading this week has, has taught me about my own papers, but when approaching um, our peers' work is how am I approaching these and am I asking the right questions? So those were my aha moments this week.